Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm be showing you how to adjust the timeline heights in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this might sound like a trivial sort of thing. It's something that maybe you figured out on your own. However, what I wanted to do was cover the extensiveness of this because there isn't just one way to do this. There's actually a whole lot of different ways to adjust the timeline heights. So I kind of want to just put them all into one video. So if uh, anyone's just searching for it online or anywhere like that, they can find this resource and figure out which works best for them. And maybe some people have been using this for a while, might find a different way to adjust the heights that they like the best. So the first thing is I actually have mine saved onto presets. So if you notice, once I'm in here, I can actually click buttons and they'll all go to the same height. Um, I have a tutorial on how to do that. I'll link that below if you want to look into that. But I'm just going to show you that mine are all the exact same height because I use a preset to get it here. Now, the first way to adjust the height is pretty typical, and you'll probably have discovered if you hover over here. And that is this arrow button, uh, which is going to drag it like it is an object, you know, like it's a rectangle or something. You can drag it as big or as small as you want right like so just by getting in between this right over here now notice it does not work right here you can't make them larger over here and it doesn't work once you get to certain areas like this left part over here um looks like it works all the way over to the right right here so you just need to grab this and make it larger or smaller like that this is a really sort of um a quick way to do it if you're already over here like, like you're maybe like d turning that off or something you can just go down and then quickly make that larger turn it back on if your mouse is already over here this is a great option Second option for if your mouse is already over here is you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse as long as you're over here in the gray area and over here on the right and then in here in the middle as well. There's certain points in here where this won't work. Uh, you'll actually start scrolling back and forth. But for the majority of this place over here, as long as you're in a gray area, if you use the mouse wheel, you'll scroll it the track larger and smaller. And if you hold down the control key while you do this, you'll notice that the uh, the scroll is a lot less so you can fine-tune it with this so this is without the control key you'll notice it goes really really fast and then with the control key it goes very very small so you can make small adjustments with the control key probably the command key on a Mac the next way that we can do this is that we can actually uh, double click right here which is to the right of this, these uh, little symbols right here all the way over here in this gray area if you double click you'll expand it or you'll shrink it back down to a small size. And you'll notice that this small size is actually um, a standard. So if you have a bunch of different sort of heights all over the place, what you can do is you can actually double click on these and then bring it back down to a small one. Sometimes it takes a couple clicks right there and they'll all go back down to the same height because this is gonna be a standard um, expansion and this is a standard you know, contraction of the clip right here. So double clicking over here is a fast way to click quickly look into the audio and then, you know, bring it back down and move to somewhere else, bring it back out of your view. And then you can also use the control or command button on a Mac and then the alt button to um, sort of adjust all of the video and all of the audio at once. So this is going to be slightly different from Mac and PC. So the control and the command key are going to do the two things. And on a PC, the control and the alt key are going to do the two things. And what they do is if you hit one of them for the PC, it's the control key. If I click the plus and minus buttons when I have this panel selected, you'll notice that everything goes up and, and down in the video side. Now, if I hold down the alt key and hit plus or minus, you'll notice that everything gets bigger and smaller in the audio side. So you can you know adjust your view on both of these by just hitting these buttons to adjust all of them. And now if you hold down the shift key and hit the plus or minus, you can expand all of them or contract all of them at the exact same time. So you can see right here, everything contracted, expanded, contracted back down again. And then, you know, we could be like, bring out the video a little bit, bring out the audio a little bit. And then we have sort of control over this. Now we're like, okay, let's look at audio one. So we can bring it out. Let's condense it back down, double click over here to bring it back. And now you can use all of these different options to adjust those timeline heights to exactly how you want to. And remember that this panel right here is completely customizable as well. If we want to drag this anywhere else, like if we want to, for example, drag it off and bring it onto like a second screen, we can do that. And we can make it really, really large and really long if we wanted to as well on a second screen to give us some more room or we can make it really, really tall. So timeline heights, like everything else in Premiere Pro, are extremely adjustable and there's a bunch of different ways to do it. That is gonna be it on this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comments section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video on Adobe-related products every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.